Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and today we are going to begin notes for chapter 10, which is States of Matter. So, we usually start by talking about gases, and in order to talk about gases, we begin with something uh, called kinetic molecular theory. Reminder, kinetic means the energy that something has um, because of its motion. Kinetic refers to motion. So, kinetic molecular theory um, starts with the basic premise that all particles of matter are in constant motion, even in solids. It may look like nothing's going on, but all particles of matter are always in motion. And again, here I'm showing you a little picture of, I guess, what a gas would look like in a container, and you will see that the particles have little vector arrows showing that they are in motion. So this kinetic molecular theory is a set of assumptions based upon the idea of a so-called ideal gas that conforms to all of these assumptions. So again, it's a model for the behavior of an ideal gas. However, it is very useful for, for predicting the behavior of gases in general. So the assumptions. First of all, gases, and again we're referring to this so-called ideal gas, gases are composed of tiny particles and consist mainly of empty space. Second, the collisions of the particles for an ideal gas are perfectly elastic. What that means is that during a collision, no energy is lost. It is preserved. Third, that the motion of the particles of a gas is constant, rapid, and random. And there's a little applet showing you what isn't really constant, random, or rapid. Um, third, or sorry, fourth, there are no attractive forces between the particles of a gas. And so by attractive forces, I mean the usual things that we spoke about, dipole-dipole interactions, hydrogen uh, bonding, uh, London dispersion forces. When we're talking about an ideal gas, we say that the particles do not exert attractive or repulsive forces on one another. Um, also, number five, that the volume of the individual gas particles is zero. And finally, that the temperature of the particles um, is directly proportional to the average kinetic energy, or the average kinetic energy is directly proportional to the temperature. So again, this kinetic theory applies only to ideal gases. Um, and again, an ideal gas is this hypothetical gas that perfectly conforms all of the assumptions of the kinetic molecular theory. And real gases are not ideal. They have um, their individual particles occupy volume. Uh, depending on what the gas is, their uh, particles do exert forces of attraction and repulsion on one another. And further, um, they don't have a volume of zero. So again, real gases, when we think of them, do all of the things that we normally think about. That is, they expand, uh, are fluid, have relatively low densities, are relatively compressible, and are capable of effusing and diffusing. So for now, this is Miss Augustine signing off for the first portion of our notes.